Hello guys. In this video, I want to show you how to deal with PDF files on your Linux machine. And I would say, let's start. I downloaded some PDF files, for example, the Linux Mint installation guide. We can see here also the Linux Mint developer guide. We will do something with these. So I would say, let's start right away. And at first I want to show you how to put something into the PDF files, how to mark something how to write something to it and also for example how to sign visually some pdf file for that i'm gonna use xornal plus plus i would recommend you the xornal pp from apt not the flatpak version this doesn't work every time so xornal plus plus from your default package manager is completely enough i can type in my password here you can see also the command how to do this on your own and now we are finished. Let's head over to our PDF file. For example, the installation guide. I right click this one and select open with Xornal plus plus. I open that up and here we see all our pages and we can now, for example, zoom in on the right bottom corner. And now we can, for example, choose a text marker and just mark something up. If you have any responsive screen with, for example, a pencil, then you can do this also with it. You can also, if you want, create a complete new document and use it as digital paper, for example, but also we can paste in some text here hello world or we can just draw something into it and of course we can also do a lot more with it this is great for filling out some forms visually which don't have a special form version which you can do via for example with the pdf viewer we will come to that in some minutes later but yeah i guess you will get the point here we can also paste in some new sites i can for example select the graph paper here and after that i'm pressing the insert page now we have inserted a complete new page on which we can now write here with a separate pencil this works way much better but yeah you can do almost anything with xornal plus plus if you want to add something to the current pdf i can save this one up then a xornal plus plus file will be created so the source pdf file won't be changed directly if we want to export now this one as a pdf then i can select file export as pdf and i can save this for example as commented so now we have handled Xorl plus plus. If you want to do some small changes on a PDF, then you can do this, for example, with LibreOffice Draw. I can open up this guy. And here we are for small changes. This is great. For example, I can just select this one and change some text here and move it around something like this, for example. And we can also rearrange some sites in here if you want but we will cover this with another application in some minutes where you can do this quite better i would say library office draw is not the excellent tool to edit a pdf file but for small changes it's completely enough and also yeah it is pre-installed on your linux machine or on the most linux machines i would say yeah so if we want to export this again we can just choose export directly as pdf I can give it a new name and perfect. This is now exported. So I don't need to save this in a LibreOffice draw file. And yeah, this is quite cool. So let's head over to another point. If we want to rearrange some PDF files, if we want to merge some PDF files together, then another very handy tool comes on site. This is called PDF Arranger. You can install it, for example, via Linux Assistant or your software manager. I installed the version from the package manager, not the flat pack, but yeah, you can also choose the flat pack, I guess. And I right click it and select open with PDF Arranger. Here we have it now. It opens up our complete PDF file in this view. And what we can do now is to rearrange some sites, for example. We can also rotate some pages, for example. We can also insert a blank page with a specific size. Yep, it got pasted 
on the end, but yeah, we can move it around. We can also select multiple sites and move them all around. And also we can do such funny things like, for example, split pages. And then we can, for example, do a horizontal split, for example. We can also choose the height in percent. I select OK. And now, yeah, <laughs> we have cut the side in half and have a additional side, for example. Yeah, we can also add some more PDF documents to this project. We can choose this one, open a file and append it to the current document. So I can, for example, now also add in the developer guide and yeah, we can rearrange everything with PDF arranger. Just have a look. It's a great tool if you want to do something with merging and splitting. Of course, you can also remove some sites here. Okay, now we can save this changed file on this icon here. And now we can define a new name and save this as a new PDF. Also, some forms and outlines are lost on saving. This is okay for us in this case. So your table of contents won't work in the future with this changed PDF file, but this is completely okay for us. So I select okay. And also I got some error message. Something has been discarded. This is okay for me. I select okay. And now we can see our new PDF A document with uh, all changes we already have done to it. For example, we changed the orientation of this page. Or let's see our two pages, which were cut in half. Here we have them. It's just also very funny. <laughs> <laughs> but you get the point what you can do with PDF Arranger. So let's get to another point if you want to do more with a PDF file. If you want to convert this one to a Word document, for example, and handle this like a text document. There is no tool out there which does this directly on Linux on a usable way, I would say, but there comes in the Adobe Online Converter handy. Warning, this is online and this is by Adobe. It's very proprietary, so you can select a file here. Let's select our newest version here. I open it up then this will be converted into a Microsoft Word document. There isn't any option to convert it to a LibreOffice document in open document format. If you want to edit Word documents more precisely with better support as LibreOffice, just have a look at SoftMaker. I'm not paid for this, but they have a very cool Office suite also for Linux with a high compatibility for Word documents. So for my case, I can't download it at the current point. I have to sign in. Very weird. On my first try, I didn't have to sign in in any way. You can also use your Google, Facebook or Apple account. But this is the best way to convert from a PDF format to a very usable text editor format, I would say. So have a look on this. I guess for smaller documents, you don't have to sign in. So yeah, if you want to do some other changes, for example, pasting in some new graphic or exchanging some graphics and library of Office draw isn't enough for you, then another handy tool comes in, which is called Master PDF Editor. Also, Master PDF Editor is not open source. If you want to use it correctly, then you have to buy it. But it's the best PDF editing tool we have under Linux, I would say. And I can right click this guy and select open with master PDF editor. You can download it via, for example, Flatpak. It is just called master PDF editor. And let me show it to you in a second. Here we have it. And it's just much better as LibreOffice Draw, I have to say. If you want to change anything, then you have to change between these tools here. Here's my document edit tool. And if I open it up, then you can, for example, change the position of some graphics. But if you didn't buy it on some points, it adds a watermark to your documents. But if you want to do some advanced editing of your PDF file itself, then master PDF editor is also a great choice. So have a look on it if you want. So now 
let's come to another point where we want to create, for example, a PDF file, not even a PDF file, but a PDF file, which we can fill out as a form. And for that, I'm going to opening LibreOffice draw. If you didn't already, I can highly recommend you to select view user interface and select the tabbed variant. I'm more familiar to the tab variant and I would say you have more options and find more options of LibreOffice in this view. And I head over to tools and here we can see some form elements. I can, for example, choose a label and set it to name. How can I do this? I select this one. And after some time, the control properties are available. I select this one and now I can select under general, for example, how this label field is called, for example, name. And also I give it as a label name. And now I'm finished with this run. And now after this, I can, for example, add a text box for it. I can drag and drop something here, move it upwards, for example. And if I head over to the control properties, I can also do some events. For example, if something has changed, I can do a macro, for example. This is very cool. But also I can now here select the label field, which is attached to it. And I can also give it as a name name for this special example. Also, we can choose a default text, for example, first name, last name. Also, we can choose between the text type, for example, multi-line or also multi-line with formatting or just single line and also something like the background color or border. For example, we can choose the flat border in it so you can see the insert field of your form better. So now this is our first field. For example, I can now select these both and just right click it, copy and right click paste it and just drag it down a bit. And here I can head over to the control properties and let's do this with street for example also with the other text box here i call it street and for example remove this default text in here and this looks quite fine for me so in the end i would say let's just insert a small text box which is called my form and i center it on both axes make it a bit bigger and this is okay for me now it's just an example for the video. In the end, I can at first save it as a LibreOffice draw document and now I can also export it as a PDF. I just do this in a second and let's head over to documents. Here we can see my form.pdf. Yeah, just looks fine. Now I can edit it with the default document viewer. You see, it's just fine. But if you want to do more complicated things, then I personally recommend you to do this with Chromium web browser. You can install it, for example, via the Linux assistant or the software manager here because Chrome web browser does this, I would say, a bit better. It also has more functionality because some forms, for example, also have a button to send this form to a server, for example. So Chromium does it a lot better than the default document viewer on Linux Mint. So yeah, this was it for today in this video. I hope this video was helpful for you. You learned, for example, a new tool and now you got an overview what you can do with PDF documents on Linux, how to handle them in an easy manner. So if you found this video helpful, please leave a like and subscribe to this YouTube channel to get even more useful tips in the future. And also I want to ask you, have I missed something? Can you also recommend some other tools for Linux? If you want to do something with PDF files, just let it me know in the comment section and see you in the next one. Bye.